Hello, everybody. It's Marian Bailey, Hip Senior Podcast, Book Edition. Today, we are with Tipa Snow, who is one of the most well known uh, and respected specialists in the world for dementia. Tipa, welcome to the podcast. My pleasure. Good to be with you. With me, you're going to have like 10 different titles by the time you're done with me. None of them are the same. <laughs> and I'm Tipa Snow. What can I tell you? <laughs> to, to me, it's just like when I hear Tipa Snow, my ears perk up and, oh, and I start listening. What's she because, been up to? Yeah. yeah. What is she up to now? You know, between traveling to Australia, working with Bruce Willis, you know, the, you know, the rich, the famous, the jet lag, you know. <laughs> yeah. Life happens. <laughs> Geriatric fast lane, as I said. <laughs> so. Today, we're going to talk about the Encouragement Notebook, and I'm hoping that you'll tell us what it's about, because I haven't really looked into this one, so I need Uh, to know what this one's about. Okay, now, this one is really, really different. So people journal, right? People tend to journal. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people journal. But what we thought is, in the world of dementia, sometimes your life is so challenging that journaling becomes a story of, oh, yeah, it was horrible today. I don't know what to do. So what we did is we put an inspirational piece or a message like, so for instance, um, you know, we were talking at one time, you and I about, you know, if you get lemons, make lemonade. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get lemons and you just like, I don't want to deal with lemons today. And it's like walking away from lemons sometimes, giving yourself permission to just say not today is one of those things that care providers, family members, or people living with dementia sometimes recognize, you know, sometimes just stepping away in that moment is the best thing you can do for yourself. So say something about journal about that. Think about that, write something about that. You know, did you, you, have you ever done it? Do you know anything about it? So there's an inspirational message at the top of each page. And then it gives you an opportunity to reflect on that message and either journal about that or journal about your own story. But it is an opportunity to have some input, consider the input, and we call it an adult experiential learning opportunity. So that's a big here's, thing. here's, here's the message. So if I say dementia doesn't rob a, a person of their dignity, it's our reaction to them that does. Then you have a chance to look at that, think about that and think, huh, how do I feel about that? What is that? What does that mean? Like, yeah, dementia is rough, but it's what I say to the person or how I treat the person that either allows them to feel dignified or I say, Marianne, that's the same shirt you've had on for three days. What in the world? Come on. You got hey, stuff. Don't on. judge, Tipa. Don't judge. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And so that sense of, you know, would we do this to anybody else? No. I mean, that's not considered reasonable. So I said, oh, Marianne, you have the most beautiful blue shirt. I haven't seen you in, a, in that one for a while. I would love to see you in that color. We're going to head out and go get some coffee. Would you like, maybe, how about if we switched out so we'd match? We're matchy. We're twins. Yeah. So the idea of, you know, each, each of the messages on a page, and it's a quote or a message that I've created, is one that is inviting people to think about something and either write about that or write about something else. But the idea is we're in connection because when you're, in the support of someone, you can often use a little support. That is so true. That's kind of been my focus this month of, of reaching out to caregivers and, and people of like, you know, how can, can I help support you? How can people know that you need support or yeah. stuff like that? So yeah. Um, what kind of, so caregivers only care? Who's, no, who's I think, before? you know, those of us who live in the world sometimes, you know, the, the messages we share out on dementia aren't, it's about living a stressful life. It's about being in a place where you sometimes get isolated or you feel overwhelmed or you you feel really great about what you're doing, but who do you share it with? Because sometimes people are busy and they don't have time. So this is an opportunity for people. Who, and I would say this is for people who enjoy writing. And they enjoy putting what they think and what they feel on paper. If you're not one of those folks, this may not be the book for you at all, because it's going to require of you, your participation, your active participation. Um, But for some people, it could just be a notebook. 
you can just write notes in it, but it also gives you an opportunity to engage with a thought, um, with an idea, with a concept, and consider doing something with it. So it could either just be a like a nice place to write, or it could be something that has value for you. So it's a little bit different than some of the standard books. It's it's not got a lot of depth to it, it's, but it does have messaging and it does actually have some info in the front um, and in the back that's helpful sort of content, just sort of some how to's and why to's um, that's more content, but the most of it is your participation. So if that doesn't sound like that's going to float your boat, then this is probably not the book, book for you. But if that is a thing that appeals to you, and you want a place to keep track of stuff, even, it could be helpful for that. What about for dementia patients, people, do, or is that good for them? Yeah. So often for people who are living with dementia and they're early in their condition, it's a great place to have, you know, your own reflections of how things are going. Because often, you know, they'll ask you, well, how have you been? And it's like, in the moment, it's like, oh, good. But maybe you could say, take a look at your journal, bring it in when you go in and say, take a look and see how you've been. Oh, yeah. You know, there were a few days that were down. You know what made it better was visiting with so-and-so. That was a real plus. So that's sort of the thing that people notice. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of like your your car's never broken when you take it to the mechanic type yeah, theory, exactly. right? You go Very to the doctor, rarely. you forget that two days ago you yeah. had a fever or whatever the case yeah, was. So for sure. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. And well, then well, it's different. And yeah. then again, it said, this is one that people may, it may be specific to some people and not to others. So we want to give you a heads up. It's not for everybody, but it might be. It's like the kids book wouldn't be for everybody, but it might be. So this is, this is one of those books. I can't ask you like, what do you hope that person gets when they put it down? Because they're never just putting it down from reading it. They're picking it up and working in it again. So, satisfaction, I hope. <laughs> I hope they'll be satisfied. How about that? <laughs> satisfaction, reward, um, yeah. intrigue, you know, from, from discovering things about themselves or Moments, other people yeah. that they're doing. Or maybe but... an 800 number they can get up with us if they need to. <laughs> That's... It's in there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Tipa. Well, thank you so much for telling us about the encouragement notebook, because like I said, that was one that I wasn't familiar with as far as what the end goal was for. Um, and I, I, you know what, I think I might be getting that for myself. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you so much. You too.